Today we're gonna go wine tasting. Welcome back to our road trip through Europe. After being in Liechtenstein in Switzerland, we now arrived in France and stopped in a beautiful town called Dijon. Dijon. Oh, oh, <laughs> I sound so French. Oh, oh Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> in case you're a mustard fan, you know it better. And I hate mustard, so I have no idea what he's talking about. But mustard is not the reason why we're here. We were about to go on our first ever wine tasting tour. It was held by Authentica Tours who were kind enough to take us on their so-called charm tour. That's a half-day tour that starts in Dijon, goes to the Burgundy region of France and includes a wine tasting part as well as a visit of the vineyards and the city Bonn. So here's what we knew about wine to this day. What I know about wine... I think I don't know anything about wine, except for it's made out of grapes and people have a weird ritual when they drink it. I know that people that drink it are very fancy. At least they look very fancy. They do this with the glass and then they roll it over the table. They do some weird stuff with their cups. I have no idea which one. I've seen it in movies, so. Oh, and it comes from grapes. What's my experience with wine? It's very limited, but I have to say I was drinking a lot of wine when I was staying in New York for my internship at the UN. That's the only thing we could get for free when there were any events there at the office. I think I've tried it once and that was maybe 10 years ago. I didn't like it, I hated it. And since then I've never tried it again. I remember that at the beginning I hated it. I didn't like the taste, but I was still drinking it. And by the end I was like, hmm, kann man machen. Today I'm really excited to see if I become a wine lover. Because everybody around me loves wine, my parents like wine, my girlfriend drinks wine at the end all the time. Yeah, that's all the people that are around me. <laughs> Sad. I'm not fancy, as you can see, the shirt is like 10 years old. So, I need to change. <sighs> I'm wine ready. And now let's have a look at what happened on the wine tasting tour. Here is where all the Grand Cru. <laughs> Somebody speaking French. But here is where all this super cool wine is produced. All the grapes are being grown right now. Grand Cru is like one of the fanciest, more exclusive wines that they produce in the Virgin D region. It's super cool because the grapes are right now starting to turn red or purple and they are going to be harvested in September. So right now we get to see that process. But it's super nice, it's super hot and looks pretty. Like you. Like Yannick. Behind me you can see a very famous wine yard. It's super exclusive and one bottle costs between eight and $25,000. In New York there was an auction for those bottles and one bottle was sold for over a million dollars. small beautiful cellar in the middle of France. There are six different types of wine waiting for us. Two white wines and four red wines. Every time the tour guide takes a new wine, he's explaining where it comes from, how it was grown. The first one will be the vintage, mm -hmm. 2018. So he's giving us a lot of information, which is really nice. And we're just freaking out. <laughs> we're just freaking out. Before getting there, we were super excited and confident about recording our reactions. Now, we're sitting inside and we remember how awkward it is to record in front of other people. Immediately, Yannick became an emotionless potato sack. <laughs> I became an emotionless piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody was nice and welcoming. We just suck at it. So, <laughs> it's just hopefully awkward. it's not too cringe. Anyway, so we're starting with the first white wine. I'm excited. 
I know what I'm supposed to be doing because I actually looked up everything on YouTube before coming here. Which I was doing research online been. before coming here. Okay. And I was like, I, I need to do this okay. and I need to smell it. And I'm completely clueless. And as I have my cup in my hand, I'm like, so what am I supposed to do now? Luckily, the tour guide explains really well what we have to do. So here are the steps. The first step is to look through the glass to observe its color. This way you can... wait. Let's have our wine expert Joss explain the reason. Something about the age? <laughs> she doesn't even know and she's the expert. Mm. I'm sorry, I, I had too much wine. <laughs> the second step is to smell the wine without moving it. This way you can figure out whether it has been aged in oak or not. And that's when you're supposed to be all fancy and say, it's very oaky. And indeed, you, it smells oaky. Who's the expert now? The third step is to swirl the wine, which makes the oak aroma evaporate. Lastly, you smell it again to get to the grapes. So, I'm smelling this thing, and immediately, I kill it, you know? I'm like, it smells like berries. I don't know what to say, dude. I need to train. Danny's first answer after smelling the wine is... It smells like wine. It smells, it smells like, like wine. Like wine, wine. So after doing all that ritual stuff, we get to the actual tasting. I'm trying my wine, I'm tasting it, and I'm like, whoa, it's actually not that bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> this white wine tastes so good, I was expecting worse. Great. Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> Burn in the region. And I'm killing it with the fruits. That's my different. How would you describe it? I have no idea. It tastes very different. Mm -hmm. too. Well, and then we're starting with the first red wine, and I'm thinking, uh oh. Apparently, red wines are stronger than the white wines, and I'm like, okay, if I like the right white, forget it. <laughs> That's a thing that... <laughs> so she is just coming up with random stuff. No, 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 it actually She's... smells like cherries, dude. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, it feels like walking in the forest. <laughs> no, that's not true. On the moist ground. Oh no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said it tastes like cherry pie. <laughs> no, but I'm saying cherries. And the guy is telling me that I'm right, so get him a letter. I'm trying the first red wine and I'm surprised again because I kind of like it. This one tastes very much like grapes, like grape juice. Yes, so that's the only thing you, it's not a lot to, 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 to uh, describe. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like grapes. <laughs> Giving the most basic answer ever. And apparently that's something that you're not supposed to say. Yeah. <laughs> Anything but grapes. I get drunk here. Do you like this one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good. Confused. I'm so confused. So we go through all of the wines and I have to say my favorite one is probably the first white wine. Yeah, the red wines were also good but not my favorite. Kama machen muss man aber nicht. I'm also liking the first white wine the most and the first red wine. Who would have known? We just made it out of the wine tasting experience and I'm drunk. No, I'm not. It was nice. It was super interesting. We're gonna keep going and keep exploring this wine land. We made it to Bonn. 
Not the German born, but born. Let go. So we finished the wine tasting tour and we have some final questions to answer. Do you now have more knowledge about wine? One, two, three. Yes. yes. Totally. <laughs> the tour guide could answer all my questions. I even asked like, could I create my own winery? Oh my god, like, now I... he wants to make his own <laughs> wine. Do you now understand the rituals of wine tasting? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, mm, medium. <laughs> medium. I understand that you should smell it. Mm -hmm. And then you shake it a little bit and then you smell it again. But that's something that we didn't do. We didn't do this in every corner of the mouth. I understand it because I think they want the wine <laughs> to go into every single sensory thing that you have in your tongue. Did your perception of wine change with the wine tasting experience? One, two, three. Yes. yes. I always thought people are just being ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, when they too. are like, oh, this oaky flavor. I was like, oh my God, shut up. <laughs> so but I actually felt the difference between the wines and seeing all the grapes, all the land and all the work that goes into it and all the science that goes into it, especially here where they are not allowed to water the plants mm -hmm. like it's just up to nature if that is gonna be a good year or a bad year i res respect <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally agree <laughs> he always copies my answers that's why i want him to answer first do you like wine now one, one two, two three, three. Yeah. i don't know kind of first of all i always hated wine from the one time that i tasted it <laughs> yeah he probably, <laughs> probably the cheapest is, yeah. wine in the supermarket and the first one i was like well it doesn't taste that bad so you kind of like it now yeah no oh. It's drinkable. <laughs> it's drinkable. <laughs> now let's get to the last question. Will you start drinking wine? One, two, three. Probably no. not. <laughs> if I'm in a restaurant, I wouldn't order wine because I don't like it that much. And yeah. second, it's quite expensive. I think I would drink it if like all of my friends want to share a bottle or something. So if I want to feel cool, maybe I would do it. But, <laughs> but no, I feel like I'm going to stick to beer because it's cheap. <laughs> Let us know if you like wine in the comments down below. And if you don't, why don't you like it? Weirdo. <laughs> so we hope you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. And we'll see you next week. Adios muchachos. Cheers.